Hey there. So I'm shooting this again because the sound was messed up in the last video. So I deleted it. But uh, we're marking the moment. Today was the last uh, of 28 um, radiation treatments. And it's also the last day of doing any more chemo. And so going forward from here, this will be the first time I haven't had to do any treatments at all since December 14th when we started with the, getting that pick line put in in the first infusion. So it's been, what, five months or thereabouts. Yeah. All done. Feels really good to be done. Um, so, met with the oncologist this morning, and he uh, he's going to schedule an MRI and um, for some blood work to be done. Uh, sometime within the next week or so, I hope. And then I'm free to roam. And we'll know where we stand. We'll know what, how much this cancer is left for now. But I'll tell you, from my end, um, there's um, solid stools. Haven't seen any blood. Um... in probably four or five days. Solid stools for more than a week. Um, it, so it seems like the lesion is healing and um, the fact that it's healing while, you know, going through the treatments themselves and their challenges, that's a really good sign for my system. Um, and going forward, I'll be, um, I feel pretty r relatively strong given what I'm, you know, having to overcome here. Um, but it's, I, I'm very encouraged by the fact that I'm, that I'm healing while I'm being treated, you know. Um, the treatments themselves are, you know, they, they're designed actually to whack your system. Um, so if your system can bounce back while it's being un under duress, that's a really wonderful sign. So fingers crossed. Doctor asked me, so are you still feeling, how are you feeling about the possibility of surgery? I'm like, you know, it says, are, are you hoping that there won't need to be one? I said, yeah, that's the goal is that we're... You know, we're we're taking care of it, and there's, you know, there's nothing left, right? To leave nothing for the surgeons. That's the goal. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so what's going to happen is, uh, next step is a surgical consultation uh, and reassessment. Um, sometime in July, um, followed by a, a, colon, a colonoscopy of the of the descending colon in July. So, um, you know, do a physical inspection of the site, and they will probably. Um, do a biopsy, you know, take a, a tissue sample at that time, and which will make it bleed. But the key is, does it stop bleeding? And how long does it take to bleed? You know, how long does it take to stop bleeding, excuse me, to heal up? So, um, that's all the news that's fit to print. 
I'm I'm free to roam for the most part. Tomorrow I'm starting my regimen of walking on the beach and working into um, exposing myself to cold water. Um, cold in general. I I haven't I've been trying to stay. Away. If there's, if there's anybody watching, can you tell me if you can hear me now? Because I have a feeling I know why it's the, the sounds dropped out, but I don't know if it's still, you can hear me. Yes, cool. All right, I'll continue. Um, so what, what's, the plan is to 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 walk on the beach, um, it, build up my exposure to cold water um, for the next couple of days, and then um, get up to the hot springs and start soaking as soon as I get the car fixed. So um, that's the plan. Uh, and the plan for the rest of the day is just to to rest up. So I know I don't I don't sound very excited, <laughs> but I believe me, I'm very excited by uh, the fact that I'm I'm done. Um, it's it from here on out. It's it's just it's all on me, you know. There's no, Western medicine has provided everything it could up to this point short of surgery and now it's um, let's see how my system takes it so love and light I'm just getting off. I'm gonna post it and you can watch it. I'm trying to keep it short. So, thanks everybody for watching and, and thanks for giving a hoot. And remember that we love you. 